Okay. So, at the, uh, during the last lesson, I promised us that we were going to uh, learn about numbers in Yoruba. So we're going to do that just now. Um, so here, the Yoruba numbers. And I've tried to go up to 20 here. I'll do that with some explanation. And then you'll see that to go beyond 20 um, is actually fairly simple. So let's look at this. I put the um, tonation marks on the letters, but I'm not going to dwell on the tonation letters like I've done in the previous chapters or lessons. I'm just going to pronounce, I'm going to e emphasize the pronunciations so that it's clear. So you can just listen to my pronunciation and then try to uh, try to see that it matches the tonation uh, as marks. Okay? And then you try to pronounce it to you practice Really, it's about practice, 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 like any other thing that you've ever learned. Uh, just, you know, when I pronounce it, you try to say it over and over the same way. So, one is Okan, 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 one. Two is A-G, A-G. Three is Eta. Eta. Four is Eri. Eri. Five is Aru. Aru. Six is Efa. Efa. Again, notice that in some cases we have the E, like in Eta, Eri, Efa. And in some cases it's A, as in AG. AJ, 7 is AJ, AJ, 6 is EFA, EFA, AJ, 8 is EJO, EJO, E, O, EJO, EJO, EJO. Just to give you an idea of why tonation matters, this same combination of letters, a, G, O, without the tonation now, I can have that same combination of letters to mean a jaw. A jaw. A jaw means a case. Like if you have a case in court. A jaw. But listen to the difference. A jaw. A jaw. In fact, a jaw will be a case where this me. Me tonation will be on the O and the E will have the middle tone, the Re, E, Jo, Re, Mi. So it's the reverse. E, Jo, Mi, Re, E, Jo is 8. That's Mi, Re. Whereas E, Jo, the other thing I said, which is to have it like a case, E, Jo is Re, Mi. That will be Re. This one without a mark, Jo. With the map going up, so it's like the transposing the signs on the two vowels, and you get and you have a totally different meaning. You see, so edge of this one is edge of me re. Okay, I just thought I'll mention that. S on nine is S on nine S on ten. Ewa, Ewa, Ewa. Remember that W is we. In our language, again, like I always said to you, it's all about it's all about keeping the keeping the uh, the um, just following what the alphabet each alphabet sounds like. Ewa, ewa, we. There's no tricks. Now, look at this from eleven. To 14, something interesting happens. 
you go back to one, two, three, and four, and you add la to the end. So eleven is okon la. Twelve is ag la. Thirteen is eta la. Fourteen is erin la. Right, and then fifteen starts to a different thing. It's e dogun. 15 is e dogun. Now let's jump to 20 because something interesting happens at 20. 20 is ogun. So starting from 15, you start to see the ogun involved. Ogun, ogun, ogun. What's going on? 15 is a special case. It's just called e dogun. So we make a special case for that. But everything between 16, from 16 to 19, it's very systematic. Erin, din, din is some is for something to be less by something. So erin, din. So erin, you remember is for. So twenty it means twenty is short for. It's what erin din logun means because remember that ogun is twenty. So erin din logun is twenty short for. Din is to be short by. Erin. Is back to this. Then, eight, 18 is AG, which is 2. D, Logun, again, 20 is short 2. So, 19 will be what? Okon, D, Okon, D, Logun. Tw uh, 17 will be Eta, D, Logun. So, as long, so, you must remember D, L, D, Logun. A G D logun so ogun is twenty so we start doing the subtract. In fact, the rest of the the rest of the Yoruba numbers into the millions or whatever you want to, however far you want to count it, is very similar to the to this logic. It's either a certain number uh, is exceeded by one, two, three, four, five, or is short by one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to talk about some of those cardinal points, like those are the ones you now need to know beyond this, like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, those are the only ones. Once you know that, every other thing becomes din logun or le, le is the reverse of din, is the inverse, le, which is me, le is to be exceeded by, din is to be short by. Le. So if I want to say 21, it will be Okon. Le Logun. 21 will be Okon. Le Logun. 22 will be Eji. Le Logun. So and so on and so forth. So we're going so I'm gonna leave this like this. Let you dwell on it. Let you master it. So, but the second part of this will be to tell you those cardinal numbers or those round numbers, what they are. They are special names, 30, 40, and so on. So once you must once you know those, the rest of it is just the same logic. You will recall that the Roman numerals are based on the same idea. It's very it's the same thing. Where you are basically saying putting the symbol for 50 and then taking one out to indicate 49. You know, putting that one before the symbol for 50. For 51, you put that symbol for one after the 50. It's the same idea. Okay? So, let me just read this to you. I'm going to read it to you. Okon, A-G, Eta, Erin, Arun, Efa, A-J, Ejo, Eson, Ewa, Okon la, A-G la, Eta la, Erin la, E-Dogun, Erin di Logun, Eta di Logun, A-G di Logun, Okon di logun ati ogun. By the way, you will recall that when in a previous lecture or lesson, I had used the word meji. Use the word Meiji when I refer to 
the number of sisters that the fellow in our story had. And we also use the word Mejila. In referring to the age, to the age of the young boy. So you see, Ejila is the number itself. So when you are counting, you you use the words that I have written here. But when you are saying how many, so if the question, if you are, if if what you are saying is to tell somebody or say how many the number of things that you have, then you add M. Mejila, Metala, Merila, Medogun, Merindilogun, Meta, Meji, Meri. So this will become, so if you want to say I have four things, you say Moni, Ukon, Meri. Money in common. The number itself is any, but the number of things will be many. Okay? So so this works for most of it. Major. Ogun, it doesn't work for it. So if you want to say the number of things, if the number of things you want to describe is 20, you just still say ogun, monin kon ogun, or if it's one, you say you still say okon, monin kon kon or kon. In fact, in this case, we reduce it to kon, or you can say ayo, ayo kon, which means only one. How many children do you have? Omo meloni oni. And your answer will be if it's only one child, you see, you, you can say eyokon, only one. Omo meloni oni. So let's just wrap it up by looking at that sentence I just said to you. Okay, let's create a little space here. So you say, so Omo um, Melo. No, if you go and look at some previous videos that I uploaded, that would be several years ago, but you can still find it. Melo is how many? That's how you ask the question of Melo. Omo um, Melo ni o ni. This means how many children? Do you have how many children do you have and you can and your answer can be a uh, your con. that's a brief answer of course which means only one now if you want to give a more con, a, a, write a say a complete sentence you can say money or more a your con I have only one child. That will be, you know, but this will suffice. Since what I want to point out to you is, is the special cases where you don't use the me to qualify. This works. Mewa is correct. Meson is correct. Me dogun, me je, me fa, manu is correct, but the only ones where it doesn't work is twenty, like I said, and one. Okay, at least among the numbers that we've covered so far. Okay, all right, keep that in mind. <laughs>